हेलो एवरीवन वी विल स्टडी इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस पेपर नंबर थ्री इन सेकंड यूनिट इज द नॉन लिनियर सर्किट्स और द नॉन लिनियर ओपम्स देन व्हाट इज द नॉन लिनियर सर्किट्स इट इज द मोस्ट टिपिकल एप्लीकेशन फॉर द ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर्स एंड इट इज द लिनियरिटी ऑफ द कंपोनेंट्स वी हैव स्टडी इन दिस लेक्चर्स नाउ फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस इन द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द पैसि कंपोनेंट्स लाइक एज अ रजिस्टर्स कैपेसिटर एंड द बाय यूजिंग द ओम्स लॉ दिस ऑफ एम्स इट इज द इनपुट एंड आउटपुट वोल्टेज इज रिलेटेड टू द कॉन्स्टंट्स दिस कॉन्स्टंट्स इट विल बी शूड इन द गेन फाइन फाइंड आउट द गेन्स देन अदर एप्लीकेश एप्लीकेशन वी विल स्टडी इन दिस लेक्चर्स इट इज अ लॉगरेथमिक एंटी लॉगरेथमिक एम्पलीफायर्स रेक्टिफायर्स we will study in details now first we will discuss in unit first uh, topic first it is a logarithmic amplifiers this is the circuit diagram of log amplifiers operations there are the inverting inputs or the inverting amplifiers are used in the when it is across resistors r1 and i1 non inverting terminal is grounded then feedback it is inverting terminal that is the d1 it is used in the diodes then this is the circuit diagram of logarithmic amplifiers it is the voltage is proportional to the logarithmic of input voltage and this device is the non linearity that is called as the logarithmically it should be control the gain of operational amplifiers this control the gains by used in the semiconductor diodes d1 it is transferred in the forward characteristics and these diodes are used in the silicon diodes it is in the shockley equations we can <coughs> study in the previous study in the last uh, class then this shockley equations it is if is equal to is into e raised to vf divided by eta into vt that is 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 the diode saturation currents e is the base of natural logarithms that is the value for 2.71827 vf is the forward voltage drop across the diodes vt is a termin termina thermal equivalent voltage of the diodes and eta is the coefficients that is the proportionality constants now this is the working of logarithmic amplifiers then what is the derivative part of the logarithmic amplifier it is i1 current it by using the ohms law i1 is equal to v in upon r1 then this feedback current is equal to minus i1 and i of is equal to minus v in upon r1 then voltage output voltage is equal to minus vf that is a feedback voltage is equal to minus n eta vt ln of if upon is then v0 is equal to minus eta vt ln of put this value of i if is equal to minus v in upon r1 is equal to v in upon r1 into is then the rd is the 26 milli volt upon if that is the value for this put in this equations that is the if is less than 1 milli ampere that is called as the logarithmic amplifiers amplifiers then these logarithmic amplifiers it does not behave it is the linearity con uh, linearity conditions that is the high voltage currents or the high current is levels acquired for the logarithmic amplifiers now logarithmic amplifier it is the iv characteristics of logarithmic amplifiers there are two characteristics it will discuss here then first is the linear graphs it is said to be the voltage gain is a very high then for low input voltage and the very low for high input voltage then this second one is the semi logarithmic graph it is a straight line it provides the logarithmic amplifier for the transfer characteristics these transfer characteristics of the log amplifiers in terms of the slope of v0 versus v in in plot in the millivolts per decodes then find out the eta it affects to the uh, transfer curve and the is it determines the y intercepts this is the uh, 
IV characteristics of logarithmic amplifiers. Now next is the what is the anti-logarithmic amplifiers? The anti-logarithmic amplifiers. This is the circuit diagram of anti-logarithmic amplifiers by used in the diodes or as well as the transistors. There are two component passive components are used here. Then first conditions we apply the input voltage across the diodes. Then inverting amplifier also used. Second condition or the second circuit diagram input voltage is applied to the feedback of transistors and the output voltage is required. Then this anti-log amplifier it is proportional to the anti-log of the input voltage that is the input voltage or the output find out the login elements it is mostly negative values that means minus V0 is equal to minus RF upon IS E raised to V in upon VT. Then this transistor trans diodes used here Q that is minus V0 is equal to minus RF IE E raised to minus V in upon VT. As the log amplifier it is necessary for that the saturation currents and the tightly controlled junctions temperatures are required in the antilogarithmic amplifiers. Then what is the applications of antilogarithmic amplifiers? It is the <coughs> used in the multiple multiple analog circuits and the analog signal processing units are required. There are the two, two multipliers are used in the circuits that is the logarithmic multiplication and the logarithmic dividations are mostly important in this part. Then analog multipliers that is the multiplication of amplifier are used in the <coughs> multiplication amplifier are used in the analog multipliers that is the quadrants we will discuss here. This is a circuit diagram of analog multipliers. Next is the signal processing. The signal processing it is a part of transistor that means the producer output voltage that vary is the non-linearity functions. Then these functions we will discuss or measured in the th by thermistors. It is the linear linearable outputs that is the logarithmic amplifiers or the analog multipliers it can be used in the signal processing this linearization of signals circuits with the complementary transfer characteristics of the signal processing then next part is the pressure temperature the pressure temperature it is a block diagram of pressure temperature it is also used in the amplifier that is called as a differential amplifiers strain gauge pressure thermistor fluid that there are two parts used in the high pressure and the low pressures there is the differential amplifier it is used in the difference of the modules then output is the flow rates that is the why then pressure of transmitters it is the output voltage is proportional to the difference in pressure in between two sides of strain gauges are used in the pressure temperature this is the pressure differential across strain gauge we have to find out this then output of transmitter is disproportional to the pressure differential that is the fluid pipe also used in the was proportional to the square root of pressure differential detected by the strain gauge and the output of transmitter it is proposed uh, proceeds through the square root of amplifiers that means any output is directly proportional to the flow rate is obtained for the pressure transmitter there are mostly important in the pressure transmitter we will ask the questions for the write and explain the block diagram of pressure transmitters now next one is the rectifier the rectifier it is used in the diode most important it is used in the diodes there are the two parts it is a positive feedback and the negative feedbacks there are widely used in the ideal rectifiers it converts into ac or dc rectifiers that is used in the potential barrier barrier and the input output characteristics now first we will discuss in the precision of half wave rectifiers the half wave rectifier that is used in the two diodes are mostly important in this lay um, circuit diagram that is the diode d1 and d2 it is inverting terminal are applied here that is the v in is the input voltage and feedback resistor rf are used now the free 
half wave rectifier there are two conditions we applied here the positive half cycles and the negative half cycles that its current flows from the positive half cycles that means the vein and across the resistance current flowing through the negative half cycles then these circuits it is going positive first is a going positive then the output of op amp it be begins to the negative it is a forward dia biasing that is a positive half cycles that means d1 is forward bias and the output of op amp vx it will be maxim it will be maximum of the 0.7 volts it represent the positive phi in it goes through the insufficient forward bias d2 that is a zero value that remains at the zero volts on the negative half cycles d1 is reverse biased and d2 is the forward bias the negative forward bias it is barrier d2 is the 0.7 volt and d1 is the zero volts this is the circuit working of the half wave rectifiers then second one is the full wave rectifiers the full wave rectifiers it is used in the two amplifiers are used it is also input is applied the positive half and the negative half cycles that is the positive half cycles v in and the dash is the current flows to the negative half cycles the positive half cycles d1 it becomes the forward bias and d2 is the reverse bias that means the va voltage is the zero and the va volt phi b voltage is the zero and the va voltage is the v in that is the one volt or the five volt then the output voltage of the v zero is equal to phi a r five upon r four is equal to v in r two r five divided by r one into r four then the second part of the negative half cycles <coughs> the second one is the negative half cycles that is output to positive forward bias d2 and the reverse bias d1 that is the va is 0 and vb is equal to v i v in r3 upon r1 then the output of the non inverting configurations it is used in the v0 is equal to vb into 1 plus r5 upon r4 is equal to minus v in r3 upon r4 plus r3 Into R five divided by R one into R four. Then the positive half cycles or the both half cycles with equal in the conditions for the R three is equal to R one upon two. This is the main parts of the rectifiers of the full wave working of the full wave rectifiers. Then these rectifiers it is rectified into very low amplitude and the good linearity is needed for the precision rectifiers it is the frequency and power is is handling capacity for the limitations of op amps that is the precision rectifiers it is the low power applications at is a few hundreds of kilohertz frequencies now precision full wave rectifier it is often to the absolute magnitude circuits of the precision rectifiers now next part is the active filters the active filters it is the application of designing active filters this circuits it is the pass frequencies with the range, specific range and the reject all frequencies that fall the outside this range then the uh, filters are designed to produce the output that is delay time and shifted in phase with respect to the filter inputs then this is the active filters then the passive filters it is constructed in the passive components like as the resistor capacitors and inductors and the active filters at it is used in the amplifiers that is constructed from by using the op amps resistors capacitors there are the many parameters are used in the active filters then active filters is or the filters are five main five types that is the low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter band stop filter and the all pass filters there is a circuit diagram or the resonance response curve for the filter circuits this filter circuit is it is the range x main part of the range of frequencies filters will be allowed to pass and the either amplified or the unattenuated these frequency are considered to fall into the filter stop bands this frequency at this again of filters it drops in the 3 dB from that of pass band determines where stop band begins. This frequency it is the corner frequencies. 
this frequency response of the double 3 dB at corner frequencies the 3 dB that means the voltage gain translates to the reduction of 50 percent and the power delivered to the load it is driven by the filters then the uh, we have to find the current we have to find out the frequency filters by using the gain that is the power gain <coughs> voltage gain current gain we also find out impedance of the input output impedance in these ratios it is a voltage gain in db decibel voltage gain that is a power gains also described in the filter circuits then these circuits it is also find out the first order filter it is the roll of points or the value is the minus 20 db per decades second order filters we have to find out the minus 40 db per decades then the general formula for the uh, filters that is the minus 20 n db per decades that is the increase in frequency or the decrease in frequency it depends on the role of frequencies these regions it is related to portion of the passband or the region of constant role of in stop bands filters it is the two filters are same in order that is the is one has the greater uh, initial increase in the attenuation and the filter have to greater attenuation at any given frequencies in the stop bands then we have to also find out the damping coefficients it is ma only measured in the low pass or other high pass filters pass band stop band and the transition regions these filters it is the tends to the picking of pass bands and it is the varying transition region response of the attenuation filter circuits these circuits also pass through the transition and the smoothly having the pass band or the stop band filters are also used this is low pass filter response that is the uh, log of f versus output voltage that is um, there are two conditions are main parts of the pass band and the stop bands there is a frequency is a constant that is the pass band frequencies or the voltage is constant then gain of uh, decreases it is called as the stop band fre frequencies or the stop band then there is a basic filter theory there is a high pass and the low pass filters have the single corner frequencies that is the band pass and the band stop have two corner frequencies that is called as the low frequency and the high frequency that is also called as fl and the fh this third frequency is located at the center that is the fo it is called as the center frequencies now these center frequencies it depends on the geometric value for fl and fh or fl and fu fu is the upper frequency or fl is the lower frequencies due to find out the f0 it is the center frequency for the fl and fu if that means the f0 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi fl into fu then we also find out the bandwidth of these parts that is bandwidth is equal to fu minus fl then this frequency it is a parts for the q pass and the narrow range frequencies it is a band pass and the wide range frequency are declared here the band pass filters it is a constant roll off it is determined the order of filters also find out this is the uh, filters of high pass low pass band pass band stop and the stop band frequencies